Blackpink's Jennie shows her love for the new Korean Netflix film Kill Bok Soon. On April 8, Blackpink's Jennie posted on her Instagram story, I'm a fan of Bok Soon and I, my favorite show right now. The video that Jenny shared contained a famous scene from Netflix's new movie Kill Bok Soon. Jenny's enjoyment of the film caught the attention of netizens, who now have a new movie lined up to watch over the weekend. Meanwhile, Blackpink is currently going on the largest K-pop girl group world tour with approximately 2 million fans. After successfully completing last year's North American tour, which had 14 shows in 7 cities, and the European tour, with 10 shows in 7 cities, they are now meeting with more fans in Asia. Additionally, they are also the first Asian act ever to headline the Hyde Park British Summer Time Festival in the UK and Coachella in the US. 5050's song reaches the highest daily stream on Spotify Top Songs Global out of all fourth-gen groups. On an online forum, K Netizens discussed and reacted to the rookie girl group 5050's latest peak on Spotify. With their song Cupid Twin Version, the girl group has achieved the highest daily stream on Spotify Top Songs Global, surpassing the songs of all other fourth-generation groups in the list. Netizens found this phenomenon incredible and noticed how their song even surpassed Nugent's Ditto, one of the most popular hits as of late. The original uploader also noted that 5050 has reached a peak of number 23 on Spotify US, making the achievement the highest out of all fourth generation groups. Reactions include, their songs are great and they are extremely talented, Cupid and Higher are both good, their songs are incredibly addictive, their English version of the song is also so good, their vocal tones are out of this world. Mamamoo members display OT4 bonding moments after their performance in KBS Music Bank Paris. Mamamoo took to social media to show off adorable OT4 moments after their KBS Music Bank Paris performance. The girls made sure to post cute boating moments post their performance on stage and adorable behind-the-scenes sneak peeks of them enjoying the streets of Paris together. All of these were met with excitement and love from fans as all Mamamoo members showed off their love and closeness for each other via their Instagrams. With Mamamoo's hectic solo and group activity schedule, it's great to see that the members are taking some time to unwind and indulge in a bit of shopping, especially before heading back to Korea in order to prepare for their upcoming US a leg of their world tour My Con 2023 in nine cities starting in May including the rumored but yet to be confirmed possibility of an English track release from Mamamoo before the start of their US a tour dates in the upcoming month. Park Ji-hoon creates a blank effect in second MV teaser for solo comeback. As seen previously, the male solo singer is getting ready to drop his seventh mini-album, Blank or Black, in this new teaser, Park Ji-hoon pulls a blank facial expression, which is the meaning of the song's original title in Korean. Meanwhile, snippets of scenes in which the singer expresses himself in many different ways contrast with the blank effect or facial expression on outward display. Park Ji-hoon's new album will be out on April 12th at 6 p.m. Korea Standard Time. I've Drops highlight medley for first full album I've I've. For their new comeback, I've will release their first full-length studio album titled I've I've. Previously, the girls pre-released the digital single Kitsch back on March 27th. The highlight medley reveals snippets of 11 tracks listed in the album. The full album will be released on April 10th at 6 p.m. Korea Standard Time. A Pink's Yoonji shows her impressive vocal prowess on Lee Mu Jin service. Yoonji appeared as a guest on the latest episode of the KBS Pop YouTube content, Lee Mu Jin service, which is live content that provides the best music service that catches the eyes and ears of fans worldwide. Firstly, she performed A Pink's latest title track, D.N. Lee Mu Jin praised her singing by saying, You did a role for five people. I thought it was a song for solo artist. You have a really long breath. After that, Yoonji recreated a soulful rendition of Zico and Luna's It Was Love. Lee Mu Jin was once again amazed by her singing skills and said, I think the beginning and ending of each phrase was perfect. I didn't dare to open my mouth because you perfectly showed what a vocalist should do, which I've studied for a long time, like a textbook example. Yoonji then also sang a short version of Nal's Memory of the Wind, a song which is known for its piercing high notes. She even raised the key by six times to that of the original, showing the reason she is one of the top singers in the industry. 
Yunji later sang 10 CM's What the Spring, in her own version, impressing the host once again. And lastly, Yunji performed a duet with Mu Jin, singing Lonely Night Quan Jina's version. Meanwhile, A Pink recently returned with their 10th mini album, Self, featuring five tracks. The five tracks include the title track DND, with Cha, Me, Myself and I, Candy, and I Want You to Be Happy. The group also recently celebrated their 7th anniversary. Highlights Ki Kwang is a wild hunter in more concept photos for his first full album. For his next solo return, the Highlight member is planning to reveal his first full-length album titled Predator. Like the title, Kikwang has been showcasing his fierce sides through his many concept images. In these new photos, the idol is one with various high-contrasted lights and deep shades of color. Kikwang's upcoming solo album will be released on April 17 at 6 p.m. Korea Standard Time. Bang Si Hayek shares a photo taken with BTS's Jungkook and record producer Andrew Watt. On April 9th, Bang Si Hayek, also known as Hitman Bang, shared a photo on his personal Instagram, garnering a lot of attention. In the photo, Bang Si Hayek stood shoulder to shoulder with BTS's Jungkook and record producer Andrew Watt. This photo raised excitement for a possible new music collaboration project to be released by the BTS's Golden Maknae member Jungkook, garnering a lot of attention. Meanwhile, BTS's Suga is preparing to release his new August D album D-Day on April 21st. Seems like they became friends now, Blackpink's Jisoo and Lee Young Ji have a cute interaction on Instagram. Blackpink's Jisoo and rapper Lee Young Ji made netizens smile with their cute interaction in Instagram. On April 9th Korea Standard Time, Blackpink held a concert in Tokyo as part of their Born Pink Concert World Tour. Lee Young Ji surprised many when she took to her Instagram to post a photo of the concert stage in Japan and tagged Jisoo with a heart and rose emoji. Taking notice of this, Jisoo took to her personal Instagram to repost Lee Young Ji's Instagram story, along with the words, It must be fate, Young Ji Soo. The two stars' interaction brought a smile on many netizens' faces as it came shortly after the release of Lee Young Ji's YouTube variety show, No Prepare, where Jisoo had recently been the first guest of the new season. They showed great chemistry with each other on the show, and many were pleasantly surprised to see that the two stars' friendship seemed to continue off-camera as well. Netizens commented as follows.